What is normal? And is this normal? We can see that the right metatarsal region is not loaded vertically. At the walk, we see obvious side to side oscillation of the hindquarters and the tail reflecting motion of the thoracolumbosacral region. But there was more downward excursion of the right hindquarter. The hind feet follow the tracks of the front feet and there is equal extension of the hind fetlocks. At the trot, the rhythm is irregular, but there is mild asymmetry of movement of the hindquarters and the tail is held slightly to the right. This low grade asymmetry of the hindquarter movement reflects a grade one out of eight right hind limb lameness. It's also important to recognize that a crooked tail occurs more frequently in a horse with hind limb lameness than a horse which is not lame or a horse with forelimb lameness. So the presence of a crooked tail is a clue of the possible presence of hind limb lameness. At the walk with this horse, we can see obvious dropping of the right hind quarter. There is also reduced extension of the right hind fetlock compared with the left. We can hear asymmetrical loading. At both the walk and the trot, this pelvic asymmetry is obvious. The horse drifts away from the lame hind limb so that the left hind limb does not follow the track of the left forelimb. The right hind limb deviates axially underneath the trunk as the right hind limb is protracted. The head nod probably reflects the moderately severe grade six out of eight right hind limb lameness. Look and listen, see and hear. Don't rush to conclusions. See the horse from different perspectives, from behind, from in front and from the side. 